today we are going to make a one wheel hang ten machine. In other words, we are going to be crafting the shield. The shield unlocks many balance points that could be useful if you're in the flatland. Shoutouts to Joel Schulhorn. He gave me the inspiration for this. Now the thing is, is that I have seen many people. Um, I've seen many people just do it. You can just use two pegs. Um, but what I saw Joel doing is I saw Joel. He actually got some custom-made pegs. I think. And they looked like platforms. They almost looked like uh, like flat pegs with like a little uh, hub guard right here. Well, I don't have that. I actually I was I was looking around to see if I was going to try and get one um, to work. But I think what we can maybe use is a pedal. So this is an old pedal I have, and I think we're going to try and attach it to this right here. <laughs> And we're going to see if we can uh, get it to work. Um, I think it might work, actually. Just like that, like so. Actually, yeah, keep it right there. Maybe like that. It's kind of sucks because this one's all grinded down. So it might break on me. On me. Oh well. We'll, well, we'll give it a we'll give it a go. So we're gonna use a 14 millimeter um, spacer, and so we have the pedal, and then we have the spacer, and then we simply just tighten a 3 8 bolt on it. So I guess this one's kind of a little jankier than what I was thinking. Sometimes you're gonna have to fiddle it around. I, I was using that pedal over there. I attempted to use that one. This one I don't think is really gonna work. To the, to the caliber I was hoping for. It might. Nah, I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, well, no worries. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to find like certain pedals. I guess certain pedals might not work. Uh, let's try this one then. Try this one and is that one gonna work. Okay, that one might work. Put that up on there. Let's put the three eighths axle nut on. Tap it down. So we have the pedal, we have the axle nut. Tighten it down now. And the reason why I think Joel was using one like a flat platform is because you can kind of like uh, rest your foot on it and kind of like hop your way into what you're doing. And I'll try and give an example. That might work. Okay, so this is basically the machine that we have going. I might have to loosen a little bit. But, okay, so let's give it a go then. So the thing is, you can kind of like set your foot on this side and kind of hop to get into it. Let's see if I can get a little demonstration. There we go. 
And you also have yourself a handy dandy shield. Now a funny thing is, is there's actually some lore with actually the shepherd sling. Which I'm running, I'm running a shepherd sling on top of my head right now. It's just some extra lore I'm going to go into. So, this is actually the headband that I'm running and it's actually a shepherd sling. But it's kind of funny just making this thing. It kind of reminds me of this video I watched. And there's a, some artwork that I saw of um, some people using the shepherd sling behind shields. And so this is the shepherd sling. Should be using rocks, this is just paper towel. Um, but the thing is, is that I did see, actually there's some artwork on there. I bet if you look up Shepherd Sling, there's one, vi there's one like artwork thing. And I, there's someone that goes into uh, talking about using the Shepherd Sling, but they use them actually behind shields like this, you know, like this. So it's kind of funny because it kind of reminds me of that. Just as an end note to uh, end this um, end this little video. <laughs> some hidden lore. Maybe not hidden lore. It's kind of just some interesting lore.